So this video will teach you how to balance your aquaponic system between fish, plants, and feed. To start this process, you need a clean bucket, some non-iodized salt, a scale, fishnet, protective gloves, and other protective equipment. On average, you wanna catch a couple fish from each tank to really get the proper average. One of our interns is working on catching fish from our second tank. Once a fish or fishes are caught, we take it over to the bucket, which has been teared out on our scale, take the weight of the fish, the number of fish in the bucket, and record. Now that we have the fish weight average, we can start calculations. So based off the information gathered, we know that the average fish weight is 0.5 pounds per fish. We have six flood tables and 30 Dutch buckets, equaling a little bit over 40 meters squared of growing space. And we know that to grow one, one meter squared is 20 leafy greens or four fruiting crops. So using these conversion ratios, we can now pop them into equations. tables and use that to grow leafy greens we know we have 33.42 meters squared we can grow 20 heads per meter squared meaning we can grow 668 heads in that space each meter squared of growing space needs 60 grams of feed a day to grow leafy greens meaning we need about 2,000 grams of feed to support the 33 meters squared or the 668 heads then, knowing the amount of feed we need to support all 668 heads, and the fact that fish eat 1-2% to of their body weight, at max, if they ate 2% of their body weight, they could eat 4.54 grams of feed on average. Um, so if we divide that by the feed needed for the heads, we would need about 442 fish at 0.5 pounds each to support 668 heads of lettuce. If we use our Dutch bucket space for fruiting crops, we have about 7.5 meters squared can hold uh, about four fruiting crops, meaning with the Dutch bucket space we have, we can grow about 30 fruiting crops. Um, from there, we know that a each metered square of fruiting crop needs about 100 grams of feed per day meaning we need about 750 grams of feed to support our 30 fruiting crops or 7.5 meters squared of fruit crop space. Then again, using the max amount of feed consumed on average by a fish, knowing we need to get to 750 grams of feed a day, um, this tells us that we need about 166 fish at 0.5 pounds each to support 30 fruiting crops. Based off the numbers uh, we just calculated that is needed to support our amount of plant space being 30 fruiting crops and 668 uh, lettuce heads, we can now determine what our fish stocking density can be. So we know we need about 608 fish in total at 0.5 pounds, eating 2% of their body weight daily to support the 668 greens and 30 fruiting crops. 250 gallons is about one metered cubed. So if we divide 608 fish divided by six tanks, which is the number we have in our system, we need about 101 fish per tank at 0.5 pounds, eating 2% of their body weight. This roughly gives you about 50.5 pounds per tank, which equals 22.9 kilograms per meter cube um, or per tank. And according to our Balancing Aquaponic fact sheet, that is a very low stocking density, um, even lower than what they suggest. So from there, how can we improve? Lastly, using all this information, we can determine the fish feeding rates. We know that we need about 2,000 grams to supply our leafy greens. 
plus about 750 grams to provide our fruiting crops on a daily basis, meaning we need about 2,755.2 grams of total feed needed per day to support our plants, divided by six tanks of fish, means that it, each fish tank needs to be consuming 459.2 grams of feed per tank per day if each tank is holding about 101 fish at 0.5 pounds, eating 2% of their body weight. You would divide this into a feeding schedule that's happening two to three times a day. So they would only be consuming 150 to 200 grams at a time. how you balance your system uh, using simple calculations.